the trucking with Fitz uh, today, well, we give up on trying to fix our truck ourselves. Humiliating, but uh, we got this thing to play around with. So uh, stay tuned for that. Well, good morning. We are back at uh, the shop and um, well, we're dropping it off. Uh, we, we um, yesterday I told you guys that we were going to um, update the trim codes on the injectors. Um, I collected all the trim codes off the injectors. Um, obviously I was going for just number five. Number five wasn't the important one. Um, and it did, didn't change anything. Um, also, I turned off the Pittsburgh power box and it also didn't do anything. So it's not wrapped up in that. So we got other issues. So we, I guess it could be that, that injector. Um, it could be air in the fuel system. It could be not enough fuel pressure. There's a number of things it could be. Um, I could keep continuing to work on this. But um, hopefully you're not mad at me for uh, giving up on her. I've honestly, when I have to leave a truck at a sh at the shop, <laughs> I feel rather humiliated. <laughs> I don't like doing it, but I'm to the point now where um, I think I need to. So that's what we're doing. We're leaving the truck at the shop. And uh, we're going to let them deal with it. I might actually just pay them to figure out all the shakes. Because. Well, I, I'm ready for it to be fixed. And I'm tired tired, tired of putzing on it. Um, Y'all have given me great suggestions. And I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Y'all are great. Y'all are very helpful. Um, thank you for participating and for uh what's the word i want engaging with the videos i really appreciate it everybody who's commented giving me suggestions great suggestions a lot of them i took some of them i had already done um anyway but for now uh the decision i've made the decision to leave it here at the shop so what does that mean does that mean i'm gonna go sit and do nothing? Well, no. That's where I like to think this this video gets a little more interesting. In that, I'm actually I'm gonna take you with me um, along for the ride, give you some numbers. But I'm gonna go run a truck, and I am going to hit it hard with Menards because they're they're busy, and I need to be I need to be going. I need to be running. Um, I did some numbers. And um, the rental truck actually makes sense, which you might not think that, you know, first thought, like, man, it's an expensive payment. But the reality is I don't owe any money on maintenance. The cost of the rental truck, I'm going to be getting a twin screw um, day cab out of O'Halloran, TriVista, uh, the international dealer in Altoona, Iowa. That's where I'm picking it up. I've rented from them before. Um, actually got in an accident with their one of their trucks. Maybe it's the same truck. I hope it is. Um, the accident wasn't my fault, if you're wondering. I had a lady pull out in front of me. Totaled her car. And I kept... <laughs> Uh, bent the bumper back and kept driving the truck. Anyway, um, the cost of the rental is $800 a week and 13 cents a mile. So comes out to a little over $1,100 a week if I run 2,500 miles. And yes, that's expensive. But when you're making decisions like this, you, you got to look at all the numbers. Um, it's going to obviously jump up my monthly obligation payment wise obviously it jumps up it's like uh forty seven hundred dollars up a month payment wise but i get 
roughly six miles to, to the gallon in this truck right now. The truck that I'm going to be renting, I, 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 we'll find out. I'm going to show you all that, guys, this. Uh, I should be getting in the sevens at least. Um, last time I rented a truck, I pulled a dry van behind it, and it did not do good. Didn't do any better. But now when I'm renting it, I'm going to be getting... Well, it did do better. It, I got four, five miles per gallon in this truck with the van. I got six miles per gallon in the rental with the van. I get six, just over six. Um, hold on a second. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, I get just, just a hair over six. We're going to call it six because on windy days we get way less than six. Um, six miles per gallon running loaded out and empty back so that's an improvement of a mile per gallon um man i really want to know what this i'm this is another reason why i want to do this is to figure to to learn more about fuel economy in these newer trucks no i'm not going to go out and buy an emissions truck i'm not doing that but this, this is going to be an interesting experiment, and I plan to uh, share with you guys that. Um, I think it's going to get seven and a half, eight miles per gallon. That's what I think it's going to get. Um, running back empty, it's going to be sipping fuel. So that's, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm going to play around with it. We'll play around with some different speeds. Uh, it may be a governed truck. I don't know. I'm sure it's a governed truck. I don't know what it's set at. Um, we're going to figure it out. But if, if it's, if, if I compare six, yeah, six miles per gallon in this truck and seven and a half in that I save $1,200 a month in fuel, $1,200. That's at 2,500 miles. Yeah. 2,500 miles a week. And the fuel price being 3.4, $3 and 40 cents. Um, I save $1,200, just over $1,200 in fuel at seven and a half. Um, and of course, there's, I'm not going to be paying any maintenance on this truck. I'm not going to be working on the weekend in the truck. This is not a pitch for being a company driver, and it's not a pitch for renting a truck all the time. It is a pitch for making it work. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We got it set up already. Uh, my wife's going to come pick me up from here, take me back to the house. I'm going to get our second vehicle, and I'm going to run down to Altoona um, and leave that vehicle there and uh, pick up the truck. I will probably not run a load today. I don't think I'll have time. Um, if I do have time, I will. Maybe maybe they can give me a Marshall down. Um but if not, I will pick up a load that needs to be delivered in the morning. And we will hit it hard tomorrow. Maybe we'll even pick one up for Saturday morning. Um, and we'll hit, it. we'll hit it real hard on Monday morning. Next week, I hope to do the most that I've ever done. So I'm going to stop talking now. I just wanted to give you an update, let you guys know what the plan is, and... Uh, yeah, we'll probably see you when we're getting down to the rental rental facility. Pull on in to the international dealer. It's probably not. Well, I already told you I was coming here, but it's international. It's probably not the company that you thought I would choose, but they they have the best price on a rental truck. Let's see if I can find it before I go inside. Doop do do. There's the there's the manual down there. So that that uh sleeper ideal lease truck right there is oh okay is available. This international right here is what this uh, day cab, rather, is what I'm getting. 
So I need to make sure that my insurance stuff is ready to go. Because last time I checked, it wasn't. So we're gonna do that and then go inside and sign some paper. Okay, guys. We'll take some footage of this later. But where is this guy going? You coming in? Come on in. Come on in. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. You got room. You got room. Uh, we'll, we'll video this truck later. It's sort of a turd. We're gonna call it a turd. And, uh, man! Automatic transmission. Well, not actually. You know what I'm talking about. Auto automated manual. Such a weird feeling. I don't know what to do with myself. Gotta get used to this again. Got to get used to it. <laughs> I feel so weird. Oh, fun, fun. Y'all having fun yet? I hope so. It's 2019. It's got 290,000 miles. And it's been through a lot, but it's going to do the job. Come on, come on, come on. We'll talk about it more in a second. Hey, I can I can hold the camera and shift at the same time now, guys. Isn't that crazy? That's weird. No problems here. <laughs> Not gonna know what to do with my free time. Okay, I don't know what else I'm gonna say about it right now. We'll get we'll get up the angle and then we'll talk about it maybe even at uh Menards. Oh, we're about, about back to Marshalltown. Just to figure I'd take a shot of my lonely truck. Sitting right over there. Can you see her? She looks lonely. All right, this is the truck, guys. Nothing to write home about. Twenty nineteen International. Nothing special. She's a turd, but she's gonna work. Could be worse. Could be worse. I like this better than the Volvo I drove. I rented once, but I was really hoping they'd give me the same truck I had last time I rented from this company, which was a like a 2023, 2022, it was almost brand new. Um, does have a 13 speed um, automated manual. I had to jump to my other phone because my phone died. But uh, this is going to be the close of the video here. Uh, we'll talk more about this truck individually later. Uh, we'll probably make a separate video completely on it. Do a review on the truck. Talk all the way through it, show you guys the engine. Um, we're going to be mapping the fuel economy, so that'll be fun to do. Have a little comparison. Um, I don't know the exact gear ratio, but I'm sitting at uh, 1350 at 66 miles per hour, about. So doing pretty good there. Good range of uh, RPM for fuel economy, and um, we'll see how long we have this. Um, it might be a week. That's probably about right, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep you guys in the loop. You know we will. We'll be doing it every day. Tomorrow we got this load going to Mason City, so we're going to hit it hard. We might run a load on Saturday. Um, that would be awesome. Got a little bit behind this week. Try to do a little catch up there, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.
subscribe to the channel, comment down below, hit the thumbs up button, and we'll see you on the next one.